FamilyLocation.tv. I have with us our lovely friend, Miss Christina V. How you doing? I'm good. It's good to be back. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, how have you been since the last time we got to speak with you at uh, ColossalCon? When was ColossalCon? Uh, June. Oh, gosh. June. You know, it's. I'm sure it's been great. But it's, right now, it's just like a, a blur of events that have led me up to this moment. Um, work's been good. Uh, let's see. Traveling. Yeah. Uh, puppy stuff. <laughs> My sister had a baby. Cool. And, yeah. All right. And um, so how's it been going for you uh, in 2012? Still going pretty strong, huh? This has been my biggest work year so far. Um, still waiting on titles to be released, of yeah. course, but uh, it's it's been good. I've been really happy with my stuffs that's been happening. <laughs> All right, and um, now are you able to concentrate more on your career, you know, a little bit, you know, that, you know, college is kind of now taking a little more, you know, it's not taking up your time anymore, you know, as your awesome graduate. You know, definitely I've been able to concentrate more on my career, but at the same time I do miss having something to do when I'm not working, if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, because now my life is so focused on my career, on voice acting, when it used to be, um, you know, I would voice act and then I had to go concentrate on school. And that kind of made it easier because I wasn't always thinking about voiceover, you know. Um, but de I, I definitely did not work as much as I'm working now. So that's a good thing. Hey, and uh, I was going to say, and also school gets old after <laughs> how many years. So <laughs> I'm glad to be out of there. <laughs> All right, um, now, Skull Girls is still really going strong. Um, did you enjoy your time being the director for the project? Yeah, you know, that was really, I, I learned so much doing that. I mean, I was only 23, 23 years old when I first got that job. And it was really a very kind of blind mm -hmm. venture because I had no idea how it was going to go. Even sometimes, I knew what I was doing. I knew how to get what I needed from the actors. And I just had to depend trust that they would be able to give the performance and that I'd be able to really just hone it. So it was good. And um, if you had the chance, would you enjoy your um, chance to sing in more anime or perhaps video games? Yes. <laughs> and speaking of which, huge video game coming out soon. I did singing for, I can't tell you which, but I will when it's released. <laughs> Right. And um, now you're getting used to traveling a lot, you know, between conventions, you know, I mean, you do so many and it just it must start wearing on you at some point. You know, I thought I'd get used to it, but the more I do, the harder it becomes. I'm just being honest. This year was supposed to be my easy convention year. I said I'm only going to do five because last year was pretty busy, too. But so many conventions have invited me and there's like this convention, for example, I had no idea. Um, but when I saw the other guests, I knew that I had to come and check it out. But next year, next year, I'm going to only do five because it, it is really hard. It's not the conventions themselves. It's the traveling. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You've seen my Twitter posts. Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Are you uh, getting uh, – sorry. Um, so what's bringing you to the uh, My Little Pony convention? I mean, it's kind of it's, – uh, it's a unique blend of talent. You know, we don't – you know, we personally here on the crew, we normally don't, you know, get that opportunity. And, you know, for you, it's the same thing. So it's kind of unique to get that uh, opportunity. What's it like for you? Um, when they first invited me, when I heard that they wanted me to come, my first question was, why? <laughs> <laughs> but um, like you said, they have a, a really huge, it's not just pony actors. Yeah. They have a, like three of the main four female right. voice actors, you know, Tara Strong and Great Delisle and, and Jennifer Hale here. Um, but I think that they wanted me because of the cover I posted a little while back on YouTube of this day aria. So, yeah, you never know. I mean, you, you do all that you can and just cool unexpected things pop up from it. All right. And um, now you're enjoying your time here at the Can Candlelight Gardens. Yes. Um, I was expecting a garden-y setting. I guess that was my mental <laughs> image. I was going to walk into like... <laughs> You know, a garden with, with roses and stuff. I know, of course, I knew that wasn't true, but still, that was in my head. Anyways, it's great, and there's so many people here. And I can only imagine what um, the pony convention in L.A. is going to be like. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Keep off the freeways that day. It's uh, Equestria L.A., I think it is, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, um, are there, you know, basic question, any upcoming projects you can talk about that you want fans to know about? Oh, my goodness. When is this going to? Whenever you want. Oh. In the next, like, one to two weeks. Oh, no. Well, I'm in video games. Oh, you know, I can talk about Rooney and Lagrange. Oh, okay. 
Okay. It's an anime show, and it's going to be on Neon Alley, which is the new like Viz version of okay. yeah. So, Rini, I I don't know how to pronounce it. I think it's Rini no Lagrange, okay. but I just call it Lagrange. I play a character <laughs> named Sachi and Grania in that show, so it'll be cool. Anything else? There's stuff coming out, but I just yeah, I, I can't just... think about it right now. So yeah. All right. Well, you know, as always, is there any way fans can uh, keep up with you? Like you said, your Twitter, uh, YouTube page, or anything else for you that fans can keep track with you? Yes. Christina V at, tw- at Christina V Twitter and uh, Christina V dash artist Facebook and Christina V.com. And a final message for all your wonderful fans out there. Thanks. <laughs> Good to see you again. All right. Thank you so much for talking with us and coming to Candlelight Gardens. Thank you so much.